Now to a story of strength that has helped lift up a team of girls at Osseo High School. Neil Persley explains. The girls program started actually last year. We've been trying ever since we had the guys program to get it going. It was, it's been a struggle though, just trying to get bodies and get them in here. And, but once you get them in here, they see how fun it is. They, they see uh, themselves getting stronger and just having a blast in the gym. And uh, it starts to be contagious and more and more people come. That's exactly what happened in year two of Osseo High School's girls powerlifting team. They went from two members in 2019 to seven in 2020. Powerlifting is predominantly male sport. So, but the female aspect has been catching on in the past years. So it's been really fun just to see and prove that women are strong too. More specifically, the women of the Osseo powerlifting team demonstrated their strength by winning the state championship this year. And Ace Loco and Kendall Portraits placed third and fourth respectively overall at the state competition this year. And Ace won her 84 kilogram weight class. Surprising to me because it was my first year. I guess it was fun, it was unexpected. Riley has also qualified for girls state Olympic weightlifting competition. It's the same kind of concept where you have to achieve a total for the meet with the two lifts to go to state and go to nationals. The concept of a girls powerlifting team grew out of the speed, strength and agility program that Osseo High School offers each summer. Some of the numbers our female athletes are putting up in here um, are quite impressive. Winning the state championship with a handful of, uh, of the females on that team was, was very impressive in itself, but I think the work ethic we see out of the athletes across the board um, is pretty impressive. I think that our, our female sports are really on the rise here. In Osseo, Neil Persley, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.